I am Anil Kumar sharing with you 2015 linear system questions from the test paper. Model the following scenario with two linear equations. Do not solve. Amita has a total of $5,000 to invest. She puts part of it in an account paying 5% per year interest and the rest in a GIC paying 7.2% interest. If she has $349 in simple interest at the end of the year, how much was invested at each rate? So in such a question, you don't have to solve, remember that, but you have to define your variables. Let me illustrate how to really solve such questions or write equations for such a question. So what we have here is $5,000 with Amita, right? So that is the dollar amount with Amita. What she does is that she invests at two places, right? Each paying different interest rate. So the investment is done at two places. Now what we are given here is that at one place the interest rate is 5% and at the other which we are calling as GIC that pays 7.5%. Two percent, right? Now, how much was invested at each rate? That is not known to us. So let that be the variable. So the amount invested at five percent interest, let that be x, and at seven point two in percent interest be y, right? So these are the two variables. So definitely, x plus y is five thousand. So define your variables first. We say let x let's say dollar x be invested at five percent per year and dollar y be invested at seven point two percent right that is the GIC so from here we can get first equation that is x plus y I mean x plus y is equals to 5000 right is equals to 5000 that's the total amount now we know that the interest earned in one year is 349 dollars right so what is interest interest is equal to we say interest formula is amount interest prt right amount invested rate of interest in time that is a simple interest. Time is one year per year. Rate of interest is 5%. 5% means 5 divided by 100 or 0 0.05. So it be 5% of x which means 0.05x. On the other hand, we have 0 0.072 of y and that is the interest earned. So these are the interests first interest and the second interest right combination of this is $349 so we can write 0 0.05 of x plus 0 0.072 of y amount is equals to 349 right so that gives us the second equation right so we have two equations equation 1 and that is equation 2 both of them are linear equations and they form a linear system, right? So these are the two equations which can help us to find how much was invested at each rate. I hope that is absolutely clear. Thank you.